hello everyone welcome to this video um yeah i don't know where to start so today is on a wednesday i think wednesday 10th um, may um so i'm coming from uh doing some school shopping for the uniforms and the textbooks yeah so i'll be walking uh, you through on that um yeah so we left very early in the morning uh so the kitchen is not uh, looking that great so before I start uh, to do anything concerning the school because I have to cover all the textbooks there's so many I have to cover um, all of them so before we get to that I just want to clear the kitchen uh, it's also a lunch hour so we'll also grab um, some lunch uh, with the kids they're very hungry so we'll also grab lunch and then we'll get to do the uniform thing and the in the textbooks thing so i do hope that you're going to enjoy watching this video if you do give me a thumbs up also don't forget to leave me a comment guys i really don't want to talk much here so let's just go ahead and do this <laughs> As you continue with the video, allow me to welcome our new subscribers here. Yeah, you're very much welcome here to our first time viewers. You're very much welcome as well to the returning viewers. Thank you. Thank you so much for your love and for your support always. I really do appreciate it. So today's video is more self-explanatory yeah so i'll be doing some voiceovers but not much uh for some parts i'll be leaving subtitles to guide you on and do enjoy the music as well in the background as you continue watching
so for our new viewers i'm a stay-at-home mom of two and i do a lot of content on homemaking lifestyle i do product reviews a lot of cleaning cooking all that kind of stuff so if you're into this kind of content and you have not subscribed to this channel please do consider hitting on the subscribe button so that you get notified every time i upload a new video So as I finish up cleaning the utensils uh, right now, I just want to soak the towels that I was using. So I'm just using um, the liquid laundry detergent that just that is what I'll be using for now. And I'm soaking them in the hot water. So today Gideri is everywhere. We had Gideri for dinner last night and it's the same that we are going to have for lunch. Of course I threw in potatoes, waru is a must and some carrots. Then, yeah so now we are going to unpack the uniforms let's see what i've managed to get for the kid for the girls um uniform this uh for the girl uh so i've managed to get a uh, two fleece jackets so this one and i've also labeled them we'll make sure they've been labeled this one was costing um 70 bob to have them uh, labeled um also managed to get her two sweaters they are not really uh, the same this one has the tri stripes this one does not have the stripes uh because um this one's they've sold out but still the same thing it has the school logo so two sweaters for the girl and a yellow pe t-shirt uh so this is what she will be wearing like an old school kind of a design um it's also very light yeah so uh they recommended uh, for us to get uh stockings but from the shop i've only managed to get uh socks so i'll be looking for stockings later on uh so i've also gotten her two pairs of uh socks and another dress so two dresses same size so for the tracksuit they are doing um two different colors the green one and then there's the blue one yeah so for different um days so that is just that for the girl um moving on to the boy's uniform he has also uh, i've also managed to get him a uh, two fleece jacket um i've also managed to get yes daisy welcome 
Yeah. I've also managed to get him um two sweaters. Yeah. He so for him um you can do either a trouser or a short. So I've picked um one short and a uh, one trouser. So later on we'll know on uh, what to add on, but I'm thinking we'll add on the trouser. Um so one trouser, one short for now. Two shirts. So this is the shirt. Looks more like uh, it has this it has the same print like the girl's um dress. Trust me, um I'm just going to have to work uh into getting used to the color. So he also has two uh track suits, uh different colors. Um a P T shirt, him he got a red one and the second uh track suit. I've also uh, grabbed for him a uh, socks, uh, though for him uh, it has uh, the green white stripe, so the grey socks for the boy. Yeah, so that is just a good number of uh, uniforms to start with, so I'm going to let my daughter come. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here with my daughter, she's going to do the fitting and all that with Lakey Doggo here and there, Sindio. Yeah, so... The uniforms are okay. So first we fit into the uniforms and then we are going to go and uh, check on the other the stationaries now, the textbooks and everything, and we are going to cover them together. Sindio. Yeah, so I'll be doing the covering in a few. I'm done uh, checking on the uniforms uh, so we are going straight into uh, checking on the books I have a carton full of textbooks and I'm also going to cover them so straight into that so I'm borrowing the table from the living room because I want to sit at the kitchen balcony Yeah, so this space has been like my chilling uh, spot. Uh, yeah, I don't want to stay inside the house. I just want to do it out here. And especially uh, because of the lighting as well. Yeah, so I managed to get the uniforms and the stationaries all in one shop and this really really simplified the hustle Yeah, with the fact that I had brought the kids along I also had the school requirements at least 
I got it from the school. These are really, really simplified, like everything. Also, from the shop, I got a 10% discount. Uh, this was like calculated differently for the stationaries. It was a 10% discount for the uniform. It was done separately. And it was really, really good for the pocket also. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us Where we could go, where we could be alone Between city lights, we don't have to as usual i have my daughter here she is helping to cover her exercise books and for the textbooks i'm going in with a peel and thick uh, clear cover yeah so for the textbooks you have to do the clear cover so this is the cover it comes this way it's a4 size so i will be trimming the edges to fit in the textbooks because some of them they are a bit smaller than the cover so the first thing uh, like you can see here i'm doing is peeling the middle part and sticking it fast then i'm proceeding to trim the ends to make them fit onto this particular book Yeah, so the first time I used the peel and stick uh, covers, it was a bit challenging, but once you get used to it, it's just purely simple. Yeah, so from peeling the middle part that we stuck uh, before, uh, so I'm peeling and sticking as I go uh, through the cover, so you can see it uh, that way. Anyway, allow me to just leave uh, the video like I mentioned earlier. It's more uh, self-explanatory and I do hope by just uh, watching uh, here, it will simplify for those who are struggling with uh, using the peel and stick covers. I've been on it for over like over one hour. I feel so tired. So I just finished up with my daughter's uh, textbooks. There are how many? Uh, six. I don't know. And then I have others in the house uh, we were using in the previous school. Those ones they already covered. So um, yeah, I like this uh, this cover because it's uh, colorless. Uh, you can wipe off in case it's dirty. So I wrote the name first and then put the cover on. Yeah, so we have a long way to go to. Uh, here are my son's textbooks. There are so many. Um, funny enough, for every subject, like you see this one is home science, home science. For every subject you have like uh, two textbooks. Actually, for English, there's like three textbooks. You know, I'm not getting it. But um, you see, for maths, this is maths, this is maths two textbooks at you one is for classwork one for homework so um uh, so what i'm trying to say is um i'm not understanding how um like over here you see um for my son's textbooks he has two textbooks for every subject um i'm trying to process that as well but um so i just think to a new school also that is what you are trying to do. So I think the explanation that I got um, is um, 
is uh, one is for classwork, the other one is for homework. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, so I've just finished, uh, like I showed you earlier, I've just finished covering the top, my daughter's textbooks. Now for my sons, they are over, over 10. I don't know if they were 18 textbooks. Yeah, and it's already late. It's around, um, it's almost some minutes to six. Sorry for the background noise, but it's a minute to six, but I'll do my best to kumalizia malizia raka raka. Daisy, what do you want to say? Hi. <laughs> I've finished covering my books. Okay, so let's continue with the video. So before I forget, um, here are some more books that I got for the kids. Let me not just say for my son. For both of them, they can use them. They are Kamusia Methali. Yeah, so I bought these. Uh, they are highly recommended, especially if your kids are struggling a little bit with the Kiswahili and you want them to improve with uh, the Kiswahili subject. Yeah, so they really come in handy. Yeah, so I had to go all the way to Nairobi town to get the books there. Uh, I got them at Chaka Bookshop. Uh, Chaka Bookshop uh, is known for, uh, that is where you buy like uh, textbooks in wholesale, like their prices are very, very affordable. I would really, really highly recommend Chaka Bookshop uh, for textbooks. So Chaka Bookshop is uh, right next to Modern Coast offices. So if you get there, you ask around, I'm sure you'll be di directed there. For exercise books, I highly recommend uh, Kilimanjaro. It's now right across uh, Chaka Bookshop, uh, right opposite, you'll see Kilimanjaro. There you will get the exercise books at a very, very affordable price. Yeah, so if you're looking for your child to improve in the Kiswahili subject, do consider buying this book uh, for them. They're going to use them not just for one class, they're going to use them throughout the school. Um, for four textbooks, more, four more textbooks to go. Yep. Four more to go, and um, I've decided to take a tea break. Cut some Broadway's bread, hot cocoa, and an egg. It's so cold, it's so cold, it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> Yeah, so time has really passed by quickly and night time is here. So my husband just got back home and actually he has joined in to help me uh, with the few books are remaining. Yeah, so this is one of the books that I've uh, finished to cover. Actually, you can't even tell that it's covered. Yeah, that's why I really, really love the pill and stick covers. Yeah, so we are really determined to have everything set because we are planning for the kids to be in school tomorrow. Fast forward to a week later. So this is my daughter. Uh, it's early in the morning. I'm just taking her outside here to uh, board the school van. Yeah, so far so good. We are thanking God for everything. Uh, for the items that we were able to buy for the uniforms, everything, everything. Uh, we are just super humbled. Yeah, and uh, in the new school, things are a bit different uh, from the previous one. So in the previous school, the kids left together at 6 a.m. But in the new school, they are leaving and arriving back home at different times. Yeah, here is my son getting back home later in the evening. Yeah, so far the kids have adopted well in the new school. Like I mentioned in my previous video, kids do really adjust quickly. 
and uh, this marks the end of this video guys thank you thank you so much for your time thank you for stopping by i do really appreciate you for that yeah allow me to stop here i'll be seeing you on the next video bye